Looking now at our operating environment, how is it like? We all know, you know, you are here globally. We understand that we are challenged by the COVID-19 pandemic. Even worse here in South Africa. In South Africa, we've got also some economic challenges. So it's a combination of those two things that we are facing. You look at the economic climate as estimated and the outlook that's been given by the IDC. It estimates that our GDP growth in this year, 2021 in South Africa, is going to be 3.3%. But the same IDC, when you look at the IT market, the IT market is estimated to be growing at 4.2%, slightly higher than GDP. That is the space where we are in as Altron. And we are going to hopefully be enjoying the benefit of operating in an environment that is growing slightly faster than GDP. But our choices as a company, our choices that we have made when it comes to Altron 2.0, we want to make sure that we are even in a spaces that are growing much faster than the 4.4%. And we use the opportunity, the environment that we are finding ourselves in to ask are we at the right size of the business? And when we asked those tough questions, we came to the conclusion that no, a number of our operations needed us to trim down, to be much more leaner. These were very tough decisions that we had to make. In fact, uh, it, it affected over 650 of our colleagues difficult decisions that we had to make as a team. But we had to make those decisions. Because at the end of the day, it's also about the survival of the company. It's also about making sure that we emerge out of this environment. We may be leaner as we emerge, but we, must, we wanted to emerge stronger and much more relevant to our customers. So we took those decisions. And these structural changes that we have made will see us getting some benefits going forward. And overall, we estimate some of those benefits will be about 150 million per annum. And we've recently concluded a restructuring of our head office. In fact, in this month of February, that's when we're concluding. And we estimate that the, the, the savings that we're going to be making out of the restructuring of the head office is about 80. So the 80 um, head office, about another 100 million from the rest of our operations. That is the savings that we are taking into Altron 2.0, which is positioning us well for the future. The segments that we have come up with, we have come up now with three segments, managed services, digital transformation, and own platforms. And each and every one of our operations fit within those uh, three segments. The areas of growth, remember, I said that in, in South Africa, the IT market is growing 4.2%. But the choices that we have made as a business, the areas of growth, cloud, data, security, and automation, those areas are growing double digits. That's where we're focusing. That's where our skills are. So we will be seeing us growing faster than the market because of the choices that we have made, those growth areas. And the last point on this slide is that our goal is to triple our operating income over the next five years. The base of that is 451 million operating income. So that's the, what we want to uh, triple over the next five years. When you're looking at the expectations that we have of the different segments that I've shared with you, the managed services business, that business, our expectations are aligned with CPI there. Where we are going to be getting the most growth is in our digital transformation segments. And then the last segment where we own our own IP, there we're expecting 
meet to high single digit growth going forward. So those are our expectations. So it's time we come to the market with presenting, uh, we holding ourselves against some of those targets that we have given ourselves. When it comes to the disposal group, of now bringing the disposal, it, the disposal group came at the back of the exercise that we did once we have made the strategic choices for our business. We came to the conclusion that three of those businesses do not quite fit our strategic choices. Those business being document solutions, arrow, and people solutions. If you look collectively at that group, the amount of capital that is tied up in that group, it also talks to, again, what we say we want to be uh, 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 low capital intensity. If we get out of those businesses, it's going to significantly reduce the amount of capital that's tied up in those businesses. So that is the, the decision that we have made. Where are we? Where are we when it comes to the disposal process? We have just completed uh, creating uh, information, uh, uh, IMs, and we have shared this to a number of, uh, supply of people that are interested or have expressed interest in these companies. Uh, just to share with you, when it comes to document solutions, we have got five interested parties. Arrow, we have four interested parties. In people solutions, we've got 15 interested parties. For the next financial year, what are the priorities? Our priorities are really uh, categorized into, into four areas. The first one is we make sure that we dispose of our non-core assets. That's Ultron Arrow, Document Solutions, and people solutions. This process, we want to make sure that at least by the end, when we announce our interim results, we should be really, really be either have closed or we're in the process of closing all of this, uh, uh, this the disposal of these assets. The other priority is the value unlock. We did an exercise last year, exactly at this time, what we call the sum of the parts exercise. That sum of the parts exercise, uh, it led to us going to our board and uh, having a discussion with the board, which led to us doing the demerger of Bytes UK. You all know how that played out. It played out well, and uh, it was a successful demerger. We have, uh, right now, we are working on doing a similar kind of exercise. And this exercise, we will be sharing it, the results of it, we'll be sharing it with our board at the end of this month. And the board will have to make uh, some decision regarding whatever we would have shared with them. And if it leads to us taking actions, we will come and communicate those actions. But right now, we, have, we, we are not in a position to communicate anything. Uh, where we are is we're finalizing the exercise and we'll make our recommendations to the board. Also, looking at, at our portfolio, it is so important that we understand or we make sure that we have entities that do not require us to invest so much capital in them. We have to continue to be critical and ask ourselves, do we truly have each and every one of those operations quite fit our strategic choices? If they don't, then we'll make the same uh, recommendation to our board, which sits at the end of this month. The other priority is bolt-on acquisitions. Great acquisition, Ubusha. It stood out, it continued to grow during COVID-19. It showed how it was key for us to make that acquisition as a company. Great acquisition. But what we have realized is that we do not have 
all of the solutions that our customers are looking for through Ubusha. And we need to make sure that we add the capabilities and the offerings that we are missing in that portfolio. So that is what we will be focusing on. Make sure that we can be truly a security partner to our customers, both enterprise customers and mid-market customers. Bolt on acquisitions for Nexter. Nexter is an operation doing well, it's been transforming over the last uh, uh, three years. We want to make sure that we continue to uh, build its offshore contribution. And that is what we'd like to do there. Last but not least, in terms of the focus areas, is for us to maintain our performance, our track record of execution. This is very important. As we move into Ultron 2.0, it is so key for us to continue to deliver in line with what the, the goals that we have set for ourselves. And I've shared with you the segmental goals that we have set for ourselves. We want to make sure that we deliver in line with that. But the other area where I am very disappointed is Altron Carabina. We have not quite turned around that business. So this is the year. This is the year for us to get the value out of the Carabina acquisitions. 